YouTube, today we actually have our technically second look, but pretty much our first look of the two brand new Season X Heroes. Today's video, we're going to be covering Super Killer Grace. Um, most likely people are probably going to call this Hero Grace, so that's probably what I'll go with. Um, I said previously she'll be a melee fighter, so a front row fighter. Still going to be the case. Um, if you hadn't watched like the previous video about this hero, uh, basically all the information was translated from WeChat. But, you know, hopefully it's uh, somewhat accurate. So, okay, same first skill as always. Nothing new there. Hopefully one of these years we'll get something new. Their second ability, Donut Charger, for every one attack on the hero squad. Whoa, okay. One layer of energy shield will be applied. Each layer of energy shield will make the hero squad deal 5% more damage and take 5% less damage. And you can stack it 20 times. Okay, this is insane. Um, I said before, it depends on how many attacks will it, you know, take in order to actually apply this. And how much damage and you'll deal and how much less damage you'll take. So this can stack 20 times. Um, it's pretty likely that you get hit. If, if she's in the front row, you get hit basically at least like three plus times every single round at least um some rounds you can get hit like five times so she'll be stacking this for sure by the end of the battle um which means a hundred percent extra damage 100 percent less damage she'll be very hard to kill and will be dealing a lot of damage um so yeah that's that's actually really interesting that is every single attack um, this quite likely is every single point of damage, whether she takes a damage over time, a basic attack damage, a skill damage, um, every single type of damage. So that's, that's honestly, she's starting out really, really strong. 50 resistance, 50 might, normal. Let's see, her fifth ability, prep for counterattack. So yeah, it is a status skill, like, like we envisioned. Um, status skill basically just happens forever, and generally it's applied only to, um, that act, the, only to the self, to the self hero. When the hero squad takes damage, okay, so again, um, same basically thing. 100% chance to counterattack. Dang. And deal 100% 80 damage. Okay, so this is going to be the exact same thing. Let's just assume you get attacked. If you're in the front row, you're going to get hit at least, you know, it depends. If you're against like tuner, you know, tuner APCs like that, she, she's for sure countering um, heavy, heavy, heavy auto attack heroes um, like Jackie, Maggie, um, Tuner, Cyclone, blah, blah, blah. All of those types of heroes, she for sure counters those heroes. Absolutely just shuts them down. She's also going to counter other, like, counter-attacking heroes. Heroes that apply burns. Um, heroes that do damage over time. Heroes that have a lot of skills that they use regularly. She's going to be whooping them. So every single time she takes any point of damage, she will deal 180 damage. And she will heal herself based off of that damage. Now, the healing is going to be very, very low. 180 damage in general is pretty low. That's basically an auto attack um, or a basic attack. It's a little stronger than a basic attack. But, but it's kind of like two basic attacks, I guess. So she won't really be healing herself that much. But it's every single time she takes damage. So she's going to be doing this over and over. Which means she'll probably get around 100, um, 100 recovery every single round. Which is actually pretty good that'll definitely she'll she'll be able to you know survive without an extra healer on our team um so yeah her fifth ability very strong also this generally speaking a status skill even if you're cc'd um will still go through so yeah really really strong let's check out her sixth ability 15 percent damage okay that's actually good because she doesn't need the hp because she's going to be taking five percent less damage she doesn't need the hp because she will be healing herself so in Giving her 15% extra damage is actually really, really, really um, a really good sign. Fighters get 40% might. Okay, that's totally fine. That's that's actually good, um, generally speaking, because she's going to be dealing quite a lot of damage, actually. And her 8th ability, Hard Punch, Prep Skill. Okay, so round 0. Um, effective rate of 5, all right. It shouldn't really matter. For every six times of damage the hero squad takes, it will deal 230% damage to all enemy squads and apply a layer of alloy shield to all your squads, helping them offset 70% of the incoming damage for one time. Okay, so this is this might be her weakest ability. Um, every six points of damage, so again, we can assume this will happen every other round, at least. It could happen every single round. 
Um, she'll deal 230 damage to all enemy squads, so that's three, so 690 damage. Not huge, but not bad. Um, let's assume it happens every other round. It's, it's, it's okay. Um, I think the main thing here is that she applies the shield. This will only offset 70% of the damage once. So if it's curse damage or like a burn, which does very little amounts of damage, like a thousand damage, it's going to offset that. And then you get whooped by like a big, you know, a combat skill. It won't upset that, but it's not. It doesn't just last one turn, so it's guaranteed that this is going to be helpful. I guess unless it's on the very last round or something like that. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty good, I guess. Um, this is decent damage depending on how often you actually get damaged. Again, if you're if you're against like counterattacking heroes or damage over time heroes, um, she'll stack this up pretty quickly. Whereas if you're not, um, you know, if you're against like. Honestly, there's not that many heroes who don't do, like, a bunch of damage over time. Maybe, like, Flash. Um, if you're against, like, a Flash combo, maybe. But even still, honestly, right now, there's, you just take a lot, a significant amount of different hits of damage. So, um, let's think. Based on her skills alone, she's going to be very, very good. If we look at a hero like um, Fallen Raven, for example. So Raven has a curse um, that happens every single time, or, or rather every single round. If, she, if Raven's applying this curse onto Grace, it's benefiting her basically always, and it's benefiting her squad in general. Um, Raven's curse doesn't do a ton of damage, but the fact that it's like always happening is really good for Raven. However, this is, this is going to be really good against Raven uh, for Grace. Um, his his fifth ability here basically will still will still have an effect. Um, so it causes the enemy to deal less damage when they're cursed and they take more damage. But again, Grace is basically going to offset that um, entirely because when she gets damage taken, she'll then do more damage and take less damage. So it seems like she might be a counter to, to, to Fallen Raven um potentially not really sure um here's the only problem i guess um is if grace is counterattacking fallen raven regularly um uh, because you know she's going to be always or not always but she's going to be cursed fairly often um she might she'll be using her counterattack which will impact his eighth ability so maybe there are kind of like a standstill -y type thing but in general um, when a hero is incredibly overpowered like fallen raven they do try to implement some sort of like counter to that hero or to that apc and it looks like grace might be might be the answer to our prayers i, I don't know nobody's like praying that fallen raven becomes weak but you get what i'm saying grace might be a counter to fallen raven in the same token though fallen raven um i might still do pretty well the other thing is um, Thunderbolt. So some of Thunderbolt has like burning um, stuff here, damage over time. Grace will definitely counter Thunderbolt. Uh, I, I think just like flat out Grace will counter Thunderbolt. Maybe not like fully counter, but Grace will do really well against Thunderbolt. So I think, I think she'll do good against Fallen Raven. Um, Fallen Raven won't be able to just like wipe through her. Like he's basically doing with every other APC. Thunderbolt, she'll do really good against Thunderbolt. Uh, she'll do really good against like Nightingale and Tuner and stuff, but th that's honestly like the weakest, um, the weakest APC. Let's check. Yeah, so 100%. So again, um, really good. Okay, so not not a huge impact to Beast. Um, Beast really only has like his second ability, but that's at least 16 hits on Grace because auto attacks. So basic attacks every round is going to hit Grace. And his second ability, uh, this, uh, you know, electromagnetic pulse, every single round is going to hit Grace. Um, so, yeah, at least 16 hits on Grace. That's going to stack her up a lot. She's going to be counterattacking Beast a lot. So she might also counter Beast. Um, I guess we'll have to see. I'm basically just thinking about the meta heroes currently that are going to be doing, um, yeah, that Grace will be going up against. Okay, so actually Flash does do quite a lot. Sorry, I, I was mistaken here. Um, Flash does have 100, it's 100, 100. Um, again, it's only like one enemy. So yeah, she might even counter Flash. Um, she'll definitely counter like Beast, Flash. Uh, Azure doesn't do anything. Um, they're like, she, she doesn't do any damage. Uh, besides, I guess, auto attacks. So against like Beast, 
Beast Azure Flash, which a lot of people are running currently, or Raven Azure Flash, Grace will kind of counter that. Um, let's check Ladder Gen. I don't think Ladder Gen really does that much. Damn, okay, I was wrong again. Um, she doesn't do like any damage at all, but this will be, the, these will count as, um, yeah, this, this will count. She'll, she'll also do, just like Beast, she'll also do maybe around 16, 16 hits. I, I guess it's only two squads, so maybe like 14, 14 hits against Grace. But even still, um, the fact that Annie does like no damage, but this is going to be affecting uh, Grace is actually kind of bad for Annie. Um, the fact that Grace is also a, a fighter hero against a, a shooter vehicle, or, or <laughs> against a shooter hero also um, has an effect. Okay, so Force Combat also um, deals 300% damage to all enemy squads. Um, so that's going to be hitting basically all the time. Um, is 8th ability... Uh, yeah, nothing. Okay, so, uh, again, honestly, maybe like 16. Um, 16 times for Grace. Mech Pilot. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess not really for Mech Pilot, but it doesn't really matter. Um, at that point, Grace is already going to be super stacked up. She's going to be whacking all these fools. But maybe Mech Pilot can still kill her, honestly. Um, because I, I feel like <laughs> Mech Pilot being a vehicle hero, um, yeah, she might be able to just kind of outperform Grace. Um, but quite honestly, it looks like almost every single meta hero, Grace is countering. Um, pretty much. Again, CC's not going to affect her that heavily. We will have to see, like I said, some of the, these numbers are kind of low. Um so like, what is it? 180. Yeah, 180 damage is pretty low. But again, like we just saw, if you go up against Annie, it's going to be like 16, 16 hits. So she's going to deal a counterattack 16 times. Um, that becomes a lot of damage. That's like 3,000 damage. Um, I fan is going to hit her 16 times. Well, Annie might hit her like 14, but whatever. IFAN's going to hit her. That's, again, like 3,000 damage on IFAN. Um, yeah, pretty much everyone. So she she will definitely be whooping some bedoink -a doink Also, with these, she's going to be doing, let's see. Um, so it's probably like, yeah, five times a battle, five or six times a battle, uh, depending on the APC. F five to like ten times a battle. Uh, this is going to happen. This is 600. So this is insane. Uh, she she might be really 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 strong, coupled with the fact that she's gonna basically double her damage, more than double, because she has a six six or sixth ability, fifteen percent, and she'll have a hundred from her second ability. Um, yeah, she might be she might be over overpowered. I guess we'll have to see. Um, this might not this might not take into account every damage. Um, so that's the only thing that I'm thinking of, like, of how she might be possibly balanced, is this might just be basic attacks here for her second. This is for sure every every point of damage, um, but this might just be basic attacks, and it's just written incorrectly. I'm kind of just, like, leaning on that, because otherwise she just seems absolutely ridiculously broken. Um, so I guess we will see. We won't know until this is tested um, whether or not this actually is like just basic attacks. Is it basic attacks and combat skills? Is it everything? We'll have to find out. Um, this, if it's just basic attacks, it's still going to be really, really strong. You will still stack this up at the by the end of the match. Basically, no matter what, even if it's just basic attacks, uh, this will be fully maxed. So we'll see. The the other, like, major counter to Grace, potentially, is really, really, really high burst. Um, so, really high burst. She's not going to have all of this stacked up, so she won't take the 5% less damage. Um, and what happens currently in the battle formula, if you have less troops, everything basically does less. Um, that, that's just how it works. She won't be able to heal much, um, because she'll be doing less. So, maybe that's the only counter, but it's not really how the APCs are going right now. Um, there's not really that many burst besides like tuner, um, or like Jackie, uh, you know, Nightingale stuff. That's kind of the only burst. 
So maybe that would work against Grace. Not really sure. Um, it's hard to say, guys. Let me know what you think. I would love to know your opinions on Grace. Overall, though, I mean, I think in terms of a rating, I got to give her a 5 out of 5. I don't see how she could be anything less than a 5 out of 5. The only caveat is maybe her second ability is just basic attacks. Maybe it's all damage. Maybe, who knows. Still, I'm give, gonna give her a 5 out of 5. I think she's I think she's gonna counter like all of the meta APCs. Literally, we, we went through all the meta APCs basically. It seems like she's gonna counter them. We'll find out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this Grace video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Hopefully it helps you kind of understand a little bit more about her. When she comes out, obviously, you know, we'll be able to tell um, more deeply. But yeah, five out of five, man. Grace, she might be broken. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.